Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Isha Mitchell in Denver, Colorado What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me I thrill to see, the bloom a velvet cheek discloses, made of dust, I will believe it, so are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Amy Graymore in Maine What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer? Because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma. Ah, for me, I thrill to see, the bloom of velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it, so are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Brian Davis What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor. Preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me I thrill to see the bloom a violet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor. Preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer? Because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma. Ah, for me, I thrill to see a bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Algie Pug Perth, Western Australia What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapour Preach the men of musty morals Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses, made of dust, I well believe it, so are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Jason Mills What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapour. Preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then ages since have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. 
This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford. Read for LibriVox.org by Kelly Acreage. What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford. Read for LibriVox.org by Kara in West Texas. What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Leanne Howlett. What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses, made of dust. I well believe it. So are lilies. So are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford. Read for LibriVox.org by Lauren Lazarus. What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses, made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Leonard Wilson of Springfield, Ohio What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, Preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses, made of dust. I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. And a poem this recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Meyer Lloyd in North Wales What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapour, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, 
because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma. Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Rhonda Fetterman What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, Preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then ages since Have shut their ears to singing Homer, Because the music fled as soon As fleets the violet's aroma? Ah, for me, I thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it. So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Raven Notation 2011 Raven Notation What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon? As fleets the violet's aroma. Ah, for me, I thrill to see The bloom a velvet cheek discloses. Made of dust, I well believe it, So are lilies, so are roses. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Evanescence by Harriet Prescott Spofford Read for LibriVox.org by Tricia G. What's the brightness of a brow? What's a mouth of pearls and corals? Beauty vanishes like a vapor, preach the men of musty morals. Should the crowd then, ages since, have shut their ears to singing Homer, because the music fled as soon as fleets the violet's aroma? ah for me i thrill to see the bloom a velvet cheek discloses made of dust i well believe it so are lilies so are roses end of poem this recording is in the public domain